Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexia Leanne if this is your very first time here. So today I thought we'll just go ahead and jump right into this video. If you've been with me before, you kind of know what I'll be doing on my channel. So today I kind of want to do an updated um, applying lashes. I did one before, but it was kind of lengthy and I just kind of wanted to get straight to the point with this one. Um, so lashes of course you need glue how you're going to applicators how you're going to apply them so my go-to lashes are these and then this is the velour velour yes um i really don't know the name of these lashes but this is the effortless kit i got these at sephora it came with the lashes the um glue and the tweezers so i got this is for a kit and i think it was around $30. Um, these are pretty much like my go-to lashes though because they're more of a natural look and you don't have to do any of that trimming or anything. They just basically apply, uh, will go to your eye and you don't have to have that excess or anything to trim off, which I love. Um, let me tell you a couple things about lashes to see which ones are best for you. So I'm going to kind of peel one of these off and basically what the lash Let's see if I can get that to see focus. Okay, yes. So basically with the lash, um, you like a thin band right here. That kind of helps for it to stick better to me. When you have a thicker band, it um, tends to come off easier. Or easy. I'm trying to make up words, you guys. Um, easier. And the outer corners, they tend to rise up first. So before you even put on a lash... If they're pretty straight, but you kind of want the curve of your eye, so you kind of want to just kind of break that seal by doing this back and forth. And that will kind of give a natural look. Um, so you do those with both lashes. And real, that's how you do that. But also, if you don't wear lashes, um, you see this side you can tell which side goes um, to which eye based on how the inner and the outer part looks. So on this one right here, this will go on my inner side. So this is my left eye for my left eye lash. And also, if you're going to be trimming up your lashes, trim from the outer part on this side because you want this side to be basically how it's made so it looks natural because you do want your nap your um lashes to be pretty natural also i kind of want to show you let's see this now these are my tart lashes and these are called goddess um these are just kind of a little bit more dramatic again it does have that um thin band so again, still has that thin line, um, thin band, so you can do the skin until it kind of gets a good shape. So guys, kind of got that spill out of the way, and we're going to go ahead and get started by applying some lashes. So let's go ahead and get started. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, turn on your post notification, yada yada yada, all those different type of things. Let's go ahead and jump into this video though. Okay guys, so basically, I pretty much, like I said, I worked my lashes to get their shape. Um, do this one because I didn't do this one. But, you guys, basically for a lash, I know it's pretty still pretty hard to like apply lashes and a lot of us just bypass this because of how complicated it is. And you want to kind of basically go on the go I mean do all your other makeup I'm the same way honestly I can live without lashes some people cannot live without them but this girl can so basically I'm going to use this velour um, adhesive for my lashes um, I really liked this one because it's it gets tacky pretty quickly. I really didn't have any problems with it. I have trouble with like a lot of other lash glues. So I tried this one in this kit and I absolutely love it. So I'll continue to buy this one. Now guys, to apply your lashes to your um, band, I pretty much just apply it directly on the band. And this one dries clear. 
but it's blue once you place it on the band. So if that happens, that's okay. That's just what happens. And I tend to put a little bit more on the outer corners because if anything, that's the one that draws will come up first. So this is basically how it is applied to that lash. So it's pretty thick, but I'm gonna let that dry. Um, it kind of varies for how long it dries, but a good rule of thumb is like 30 seconds. Um, I tend to kind of let it get tacky though, so I can really apply it to my lash and won't have too much trouble because it's really wet. Uh, it slides and you don't, it's not as precise to me. And I love this applicator. I'm not really good at the tweezers, so I do like a, um, a little applicator one. And it basically goes kind of to the lash line. So you can basically put it on precisely. So how you know that it's tacky enough is basically once you touch it, if it basically is dry, it's not wet on your fingers. That's how I can put it. It's like a little sticky. And that's what you want because it just goes on so much better. Once you try to put it on wet, I just I do I do feel like it tends to move. And lashes you just want something quick. So let's see. So I like my a little tackier than this. I basically like it kind of almost a little drier. That's just me, but do whatever works best for you. But this is how I like mine. You can also blow on it, make it go a little faster. Okay guys, so basically I think it's ready now. So let's go ahead and apply. One more thing I forgot to say. I like the inner corner basically a little off of my real lash line because if anything gets irritated or comes up, that part is going to come up first. So bring it out just a little bit. And then I'm going to just kind of, I like to use these tweezers once I pretty much get it placed to kind of really put that on. And will you look at that. See how simple that was and it pretty much just placed it on perfectly. Look at that. Right on my lash line, not on my lashes so I won't pull my lashes out but no that's pretty much it so I'm going to do the other side just like that but I will bypass all the gluing part and then I'll just come back and show you guys how easy that is to put on as well stay tuned okay guys so I have it all ready it's tacky like how I like it we're gonna go ahead and apply this one so again close your eye Okay guys, so basically these are the lashes. Um, like I said, practice makes perfect um, with lashes. And you saw how my lash was basically sitting on my eyelid. But when it's tacky, you have more of a chance to really move it down into place without it just sliding. And it basically it went into place. These are some good lashes to even start off with because, you, like I said, you don't have to trim them. They're perfect. They look natural, especially if you're not used to wearing lashes. I mean, these go beautifully, probably, probably with almost anything. And these, to me, they're really natural um, every day. Also, guys, kind of want to give you some tips on... I guess like how to clean them. Um, you can put them in some warm soapy water. Um, I use my beauty blender soap to remove any adhesive, glitters or anything. Kind of let them soak into that. And then I take my pair of tweezers or something and kind of peel off the excess glue so they can last a longer time. 
um again i have got these applicators i think i got these from like amazon they're like 2.99 don't have to get a special name brand or anything but these really do help me apply my lashes to be flawless um and you can use these kind of tweezers as well they're not like the regular pointy kind um but you can use like the slant tweezers as well really can get this to focus well um you can use like the slant cons i really don't advise using just like the pointy kind because you know you can poke yourself in the eye that makes me cringe um but like i said y'all it's so easy to do it took less than like than five minutes or really less than that like a, probably 30 seconds each eye so we can actually um do lashes and it won't take forever okay guys so basically i want to really zoom out so you can you guys can really see how my lashes look and how natural they look um just basically from being kind of far away especially if you're not used to wearing lashes like i said these are good to go to and they're also good if you are learning to do lashes they are only expensive so maybe like $20 a pair but like I said they're worth it to me. Anything that I'm getting and I say it's worth it it's because I did my homework on them and then I really think they're a good product. I'm not going to just tell you guys it's good just because I got it and I'm trying it out. It's, I really really like these products that I'm showing you guys. Um, but like I said these were the Velour. I do not know the style in it but like I said it is called the Effortless Kit uh, and it is effortless. Um, you saw how easy it was to do. It took probably like 30 seconds for each eye, but um, like, and that's not really long at all. So, last thing before you do, you know, go out or anything, just throw on some lashes. It really does enhance your look if you're looking for a different look. Because, like I said, I haven't worn lashes in probably like the full, probably like five months or so, just because I do not like putting them on because they take too long. But, um, didn't take long at all as you can see um also with lashes if you want to kind of make them more fuller and more dramatic um look kind of take a black pencil of your eyeliner and kind of go in between this lash line right here to deepen that and that will help um deepen your eyes and dramatic look if you go for that i would have done this with this video but i misplaced my black pencil that's not like me, but I don't know where it's at. I was needing to sharpen it, and then I don't know what happened after that. So, guys, I'm pretty much showing you all my tips and tricks on lashes. Anything that I think is worth hearing or you haven't heard before. Um, but be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Let me know if you like this type of content. Um comment your thoughts anything like that share with somebody you know the real the whole drill um and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys